Hello again everybody and uh, been in the workshop yet again um, built this uh, oh, this one here out of um, after that old uh, I think it was a bureau um, set of drawers I found uh, it was in a house so I called in the house and see if I could have it and they said take it away please um, so there was a signature inside and a date about 1945 something like that um, what they made and um, I mean the neck is oak uh, they were the, uh, the carcass sides of the um, of the framework so that was lovely and uh, there was some mahogany in there as well and also this beautiful um, beautiful wood uh, it, it is veneered um, so it was quite light, a lot lighter than this. So what I did, I um, I got a heat gun, and I scorched it a little bit to give it that uh, aged look, and then put the whole um, uh, did the whole lot in uh, Danish oil, which really brought the grain out and emphasised those uh, kind of burn marks. Um, they don't look burnt; they just look old and aged and, and stained. Uh, the size as well. Um, to stress those very very slightly. The uh, fingerboard is uh, mahogany, it's got some blue dot markers in there. I've also slightly aged the, the fretboard with the same thing, a heat gun. Um, don't go mad with it or you'll, you'll burn it, you just want to scorch it and then Danish oiled all that. Uh, the machine heads, four closed back ones, um, two different pieces of uh, wood on the sides of this oak and it really is um, a nice guitar. It's quite a big box this one and it's quite heavy uh, but the top and bottom are veneered ply. Uh, I really do like this really old really old ply from um, the 1940s 1930s because it's proper plywood it's not that rubbish you get now or even that stuff I get. Uh, the stuff I get is supposed to be continental plywood which is really good but it's not as good as this. Uh, the string holder is another piece of, um, of oak there just drilled. I put some uh, string uh, guards in there, which are just rivets. Uh, take the centre bit out of a rivet and uh, stick those in. Make absolutely fantastic uh, string guards. And the eight um, machine heads. Uh, the neck is a C profile, absolutely gorgeously silky smooth. And that's all Danish oil as well. The whole lot is just Danish oil. And I put the black mesh in under the uh, F holes. The bridge is uh, mahogany and uh, a bolt. Uh, the nut is some really hard nylon I found, uh, fashioned it in like a uh, strat style. Um, put that in there and uh, shaped it. Uh, cut the, uh, the string slots in there. A little bit of a, it's not too fancy head on this one, that just says Rock Hill, uh, Rock Hill Relic on there. Um, that's about it. Excuse me, let me just pick that up before I spill it. As usual. So, I'm not going to play any slide. Uh, at the moment, this is tuned DGBE uh, with a cap on the third fret. So I'll kind of play a little uh, bit of swingy, bluesy, I don't know, whatever it is. The action is absolutely amazing. So low, uh, brilliantly low. Um, I even amazed myself actually when I did it. So I put a little bit of relief in. The neck is, um, it's not a through neck, it's a jointed neck which is dropped into a slot and then glued in and then screwed in buttered that way and also screwed in buttered that way so hopefully it's not going to go anywhere and uh, that's it a little mahogany heel to hold it in so uh, i'll have a go at something i'm just going to make this up as a go along so it'll be in a 12 bar uh, kind of scoop it sound on it, make it a little bit dirty, a little bit oldish. Um.
sounds like um, pretty uh, pretty natural sound on that one. Uh, make it sound a little bit uh, tinny, um, and that's it. I'll book a pickup. Sounds great. Looks great. Bit of weight to it, but um, it's a nice solid build.